what does mean rare earth elements? Why are they so important? Who has the supremacy? And what next? Let's find out the answers. Hello everyone. When Chinese President Xi toured a rare earth element processor a week after the Trump administration blacklisted Huawei in May 2019, the President Xi highlighted the importance of rare earth in global supply chain. A statement that has been extensively discussed and interpreted as a threat to restrict Chinese export of rare earth element to the United States. Since then, Chinese government organization and state media have indicated that China is prepared to follow through on that threat. As economic tensions are rising between the world's two largest economies continue to escalate. With the trade war that's been moving beyond tariffs and into issues such as currency, expected suspension of diplomatic ties and rare earth elements could be the next solver in the conflict. What does mean rare earth elements? Why are they so important? Who has the supremacy? And what next? Let's find out the answers. A rare earth elements, also called REE or rare earth metals, REM, as defined by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, is one of a set of 17 chemical elements in the periodic table, specifically scandarium, yttrium, and the 15 other elements of the lithonide group of metals. Rare earth elements are all metals and also referred to as rare earth oxides because they are typically sold as oxide compounds. The name rare earth itself is a misnomer, means relatively they are plentiful in earth's crust. However, because of their geochemical properties, rare earth elements are typically dispersed and not often found concentrated in a particular area. As a result, economically exploitable possibilities with these deposits are less common. The 17 rare earth elements are these. You can see the periodic table or you can download the periodic table and you can find them out. That's pretty easy. But let's understand why are they so important. Laptop, cell phones, plasma screens and LED TVs, carbon lightning applications such as studio lightning and camera projections, refinement of crude oil, making control rods in nuclear reactor, these all need rare earth elements. X-rays, MRIs, scanning system and other medical imaging equipment, skin cancer medications, they require rare earth elements. Environment pollution is a serious concern and all hybrid vehicles from cars to scooters are dependent of lithium batteries and these batteries are not possible without rare earth elements. Many of the fastest growing clean energy technologies from batteries to solar panels to magnets are made with materials that have unique chemical and physical characteristics. These materials, which include rare earth elements and are often called critical materials, are essential to clean energy economy. Other energy sources like wind power turbines also demand rare earth elements. Rare earth elements play an essential role in national defense system. The military uses night vision goggles, precision guided weapons, communication equipments, GPS equipments, batteries and other defense electronics. Rare earth elements are key ingredient for making the very hard alloys used in armed vehicles and projectiles that shatter upon impact. These elements are also essential in the production of permanent magnets that are stable in high temperature, production of stealth technology, manufacturing of amplifier in fiber optic data transmission technology, etc, etc. Substitutes can be used for rare earth elements in some defense applications. However, these substitutes are usually not of that effect and that diminishes military superiority. Thus, whoever has these rare elements in abundance, the military of that country will have enormous advantage. Now let's look into the history. 
The first rare earth mineral discovered in 1787. This mineral was extracted from a mine in Sweden. Before 1965, there was relatively little demand for rare earth elements. At that time, most of the world supply was being produced from deposits in Brazil or some countries in South Africa. The demand for rare earth elements saw its first explosion in the mid-1960s as the first color television sets were entering into the market. Europium was the essential material to produce colored images and the mountain pass mine in USA began producing Europium and this made United States as the leading producer at that time. China began producing notable amount of rare earth elements in the early 1980s and became the world's leading producer in the early 1990s. Through the 1990s and early 2000s, China steadily strengthened its hold on the world's rare earth element market. They were selling rare earths at such low prices that the mountain pass mine and many other throughout the world were unable to compete and stopped their operations. At the same time, world demand was skyrocketing as rare earth elements were designed into a wide variety of defense, aviation, industrial and consumer electronic products. China capitalized on its dominant position and began restricting exports and allowing rare earth elements prices to rise to historic levels. The Chinese dominance peaked in 2010 when they controlled about 95% of the world's rare earth production. As per World Mine Production and Reserve Report 2017, 80% of the total production of rare earth elements still happening in China and 36% of the total rare elements reserves are in China too. In addition to being the world's largest producer of rare earth material, China is also a dominant consumer. They use rare earth elements mainly in manufacturing electronic products for domestic and export markets. Japan and the United States are the second and third largest consumers of rare earth materials, respectively. It is possible that China's reluctance to sell rare earth is a defense of their value-added manufacturing sector. Even if the US production is one of the biggest in the world, estimated 15,000 tons in 2018, just behind Australia, it's still insignificant compared to China's production that is approximately 120,000 tons annually. China is aware that it has in its possession a powerful weapon in the trade war against US. This entire set of reasoning explicitly concludes that China is smartly benefiting from natural resources and moving on intelligently. And to deal with intelligent friend or foe, one has to go a step further from the traditional ways of handling relations to the customized approach. That is what USA and her allies need to ponder upon. And that's all for today. We hope that this little stream of information must add it into your information and must have made somebody to think about it. Yes, think rare, think about rare elements. See you next time with a new stream of information that will directly or indirectly have a connection with foreign relations. Till then, bye.